three, two, one. Hi everyone, this is Teacher Dino. And Joseph, D D Joseph and Dino Show. What is your favorite Queen song? I want to break free. My name is Jill Johnston. I'm the greatest singer in Singapore town. My name is Nick Johnson. I've got two children, Joseph and Juliet. Lived in Singapore for seven years. Joe was born in Tokyo, 2007. First of all, he went to an English play school. Then he moved to a Japanese kindergarten for two more years. In a Japanese kindergarten, I think he was sort of struggling. So he was uh, not as developed as the other kids. When we moved to Singapore in 2011, the teachers said he was not, um, not a good fit. So once we got that feedback, for the first time I was thinking, okay, something's not working out, we need to do something about it. So we got him tested, and that was the first time he was diagnosed with global development delay. My friend told us the son had autism, so she did everything to try and get her son better. And through her, we met Teacher Diner from Autism Recovery Network. That was sort of um, the game changer. When we first met him, when he looked at Joe, immediately he sort of said, okay, your son's got issues. He could identify them quite quickly. But the most important thing is he sort of said, uh, he'll get better. So he will like, we can help him. So it's sort of like a breath of fresh air, or a weight off your shoulders. As parents, you want the best for your kids. You sort of think about catching up, uh, but we quickly realised that it's not about catching up, it's, it's about slow and steady progress. But all of a sudden we had a plan. Rather than um, aimlessly doing the best you can, looking, but never really feel like you're doing enough. Was that a Japanese joke? Oh, no. language. Your own language, that is so cool. You're a linguist, you're making up your own language. Okay. I think for five or six year old kids, they were able to do something like 300 tasks. When Joe was analysed, he probably had 60 boxes ticked. And over the years, he filled the boxes. He can talk more and more to now. We struggle to uh, keep him quiet sometimes. I don't want to be quiet, Dad. <laughs> exactly. Hey, my name is Joe Johnston. One of, I'm also known as a conductor. So he started in Singapore with virtually no communication to, you know, recently he performed in front of 250 people on the stage. He was supremely confident. So he's gone from like um, pretty zero to absolutely fantastic. Recently at school, we had a, like a catch up with the teacher. And then she was saying that um, every morning, Joe goes to the nursery class, right? Yes, I do. To help them get ready for school. The teacher said that he also entertains them from time to time. He's absolutely brilliant at it, and the kids love him. She said one day he could do that as a job, for sure. He'd be brilliant at it. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. I always said to my wife, this time next year I can have a conversation with my son. Autistic kids are talented. They're not all uh, mathematicians. We shouldn't stereotype them to be good at one thing, uh, but they've all got talent. I think we just need to give them a chance, give them a leg up, and we can watch them grow.